What up, YouTube? GFO Leader here once again, back with another video for you guys. Today's topic, I want to talk to you guys about rap, hip hop in 2018. And the reason I want to talk to you guys about that is because we are currently in a new era of hip hop. This new era of hip hop is known as the SoundCloud age. You know, and um, like I said, there's a lot of positives to this shit, and there's a lot of negatives to this shit. So I just want to talk to you guys about it and get my opinion on it. You know, the first, the, the good, uh, the good things about it. The good about it is this allowing a lot of people to become more independent. They don't need to rely on companies. You don't need a record deal to pop anymore. You don't need all. You don't need any of these things the way you used to. You used to have to sell your CDs to people on the street, handing out your mixtapes. I know y'all all knew these people. Then you go to a gas station and they trying to sell you their mixtape. You know, you used to really have to hustle and grind out there and go through a lot of hardships until your music got picked up by a company. It was way more difficult for people to make it. Now, you don't really need all of that. You just need a poppin' SoundCloud. You put content out there and if, you know, if your music good, the people will find it, you know, and I find that to be a really great thing because, you know, a lot of people that are talented are being seen now, you know, talent, talent ain't being buried anymore. So with that being said, there's just a lot more music out there and like it's, it's great. I'm never complaining about seeing people get their business together and being independent and doing it on their own. I fully support that shit. That's the great part of it. But with that great part of it comes a lot of negative shit, too. You know, a lot of negativity, to a lot of bad things that come along with this. That means an oversaturation of music. Now we got so much music. It's, it's getting ridiculous. And I would go on a limb to say 80% of it, that shit ain't good. <laughs> you know, 80% of that shit is trash you know um and like i said i feel like that's killing the genre of hip-hop i feel like other um genres don't have that problem where their market ain't being flooded and shit like that and the bear like that's the problem with hip-hop the barrier to entry into hip-hop is lower than any other genre of music that's just fact you know, other genre of music, you got to know how to sing. You know, if you don't know how to sing, you got to know, you got to be able to write a good ass song. If you can't write a song, you got to be able to play an instrument. <laughs> you got, or, or you have to do all three. When you look at the rock music, when you look at the country music, when you look at jazz, when you look at all these other genre of music, talent is required. There are less hacks <laughs> and other genre of music. Meanwhile, in hip hop, in the SoundCloud era of hip hop, you don't necessarily need talent to make it. You don't need talent, and that is destroying the culture, in my opinion. <laughs> you know, when you're mumbling on a track over a beat you stole from somebody, from <laughs> somebody else produced this beat, you found it on the internet, you took it, you took it, and you just mumbling on that motherfucker, and and people gravitate toward it, and that's what y'all make popular. That's not a good thing. That's not a good thing. It's the reason why hip hop is universally not respected. It's the least respected genre of music. I feel like, and I feel like that's a sad thing. You know, I feel like we should have more standards in in our culture. At least, at least have the rappers speak words my nigga <laughs> like at least let them be able to talk i am so over this mumble rap bullshit it's just ridiculous to me the barrier of entry to hip-hop all you really need <laughs> is a hard-ass beat and be able to coherently ride the beat you don't even gotta be saying shit. You don't gotta be able to put together a good lyrics. You ain't gotta be able to, you ain't, you don't have to be able to actually rap. You don't need any talent to be a rapper in today's age of hip hop. And that's the problem. And that's make precisely the problem. Too many people without talent are in here. 
too many people without talent. But that's not to say that all the new school rappers are like that. Because there's plenty of people I do like. Like Takashi 6 9 I fuck with a lot of his music. XXXTentacion, I fuck with a lot of his music. He's a talented artist. Trippy Red, he's pretty dope too. He put out a lot of great songs too. So it's not. I'm not saying that all of these new SoundCloud rappers are trash. I'm just saying they're... <laughs> Most of them are trash. Most of them are trash. Some of them are talented. I just feel like as a as a culture, we should have higher standards. You, We should make the barrier of entry <laughs> into the genre a little bit higher. So these there, there aren't Lil Zans popping in this industry. Lil Pump ain't popping in this industry. You know, we need to make the barrier of entry higher higher that's all i'm saying because no other genre going through this <laughs> no other genre is going through this i promise you there's 10 other genres you have to have talent and i just feel like in hip-hop it should apply to you gotta have talent to make it in this game I and mean, we should expect more we just not we just our, our our standards are too low man like our standards are just too low but Anyways, that's just my opinion on the matter. Um, I just feel like that's just killing the culture. I just, that's all I'm saying is I just hope at a point we start putting more importance on songwriting and musical ability, ability and make you have to have talent to um, be in this industry. Before, when rappers came up, you they had to have talent. Now that's just not necessary. Let's, I'm just saying I just hope one day we go back to that. But anyways, I'm about to get out of here. You guys hit me down in the comments down below. Tell me your thoughts on the topic. Tell me the new, the new school of rappers that you feeling. Who do you think is one of the best among the new school of hip-hop? And how do we fix the current state of hip-hop, you know? How do we fix this growing problem of people without talent overloading the culture? How do we fix this? So hit me down in the comments down below. Let's talk about it. G Foley here signing off, and thank you guys for watching.